What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you my newest little mini build for a Starbucks model that I built a couple weeks ago. This is the Mistran Espresso Machine. It is basically the rank and file espresso machine that you would find in pretty much any Starbucks location in the seven continents. Well, I'm not sure if there's a store in Antarctica, but whatever. <laughs> um, this machine is automatic, uses an automatic tamp and grind system. Um, this model is technically two machines from this side, but over here, below the steam wands and the and the push button heads up displays or whatever you want to call it, it acts like one machine down here, um, which is a design compromise I had to make in order to scale it about right. Um, the machine in real life is about two feet by two feet, so that's why I kind of did it four studs. Um, this part is not really part of the machine, but it's kind of a compensation for the for pretty much what would have been gray space below these orange or rather medium nougat tiles. Um, the medium nougat color is realistic. It's it's much to the real deal. And over here is a is pretty much supposed to be silver, but I don't really have silver pieces, so um, a jumper and two by two tile to make like the gray, this this the shiny chrome whatever part of the machine. And over here is basically a cheap simulation or a cheap replica of the Starbucks siren logo, which is on every machine. Um, this model took about an hour to fine tune because of the amount of detail that had to be put in. And I'm going to show you guys pretty much how the play factor or how the the machine really pretty much works and that's going to reflect on how much detail goes into this model. So, I guess per machine, we have um we have the coffee beans here. Both bowls will usually contain a mix of regular and decaf beans where they will be pretty much, when, when told by the push buttons on the control stands here, they'll usually go in, I guess get, uh, get heated up, mix in with water in pretty much a cylinder that looks much like that. Um, and then over there it will be poured into a mug. Now this is kind of unrealistic. I had to push it in again as another compromise in order to save the model so that I could keep it as small as possible. Um, what's so interesting about some studs not on top work that I did as for the tiles is that using a jump uh, headlight brick, sorry about that, uh, to get it to get the tiles on top would require basically that square hole which looks just like the drawers that hold the spent coffee beans that are never pretty much used, uh, spent grounds that are basically thrown by the filter. So I found that a little bit pretty much cool. Um, as the coffee is poured onto the mug, I guess we'll grab this mug. Um, I guess uh, we put some milk inside, we want to foam it. Yeah, we're going to make some foam here. We use a steam one. And then you have the 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 milk steam and the coffee well the invisible coffee for that matter is ready to well, serve. Well that's it for this model guys thank you guys for watching this small build video and I am going to be posting how to build this from scratch on a separate video so feel free to look out for that video uh, I know I'm repeating the word video so many times but I have to emphasize what it is I guess I don't know um, thanks for watching I'll see you all soon feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Lego train and aviation content and yes, there'll be a lot more Lego where it came from. Um, T.E. out.